After five years advising startups, UC Berkeley's Skydeck Accelerator now funds them, too. Every six months, we reach out to the world and to the UC Berkeley community looking for startups. And the current cohort, our 22 teams, were selected from over 600 applications. The Skydeck Fund, backed by venture capitalists, puts 100000 into each winning startup in exchange for a 5% ownership stake. The fund gives back half of its management profits to Skydeck and UC Berkeley. We have an incredible variety of ideas, of types of companies, everything from consumer applications to robotics to blockchain to uh, therapeutics. The great thing about being part of Berkeley is that any expertise that we need, somebody on campus is an expert, and we can access that directly. Everybody understands today that there's a crisis in higher education. The state's going away. It's not coming back. Skydeck has this kind of entrepreneurial spirit to it. It's bootstrapping Berkeley into a new era of higher education. And so I think that's one of the really interesting things about having the philosophy of a moonshot, where one of these companies is going to turn in to the next, um, you know, Facebook. Well, not Facebook, maybe, but uh, <laughs> Airbnb. What, Airbnb. <laughs> the next Airbnb. And if you can split half of that investment with Berkeley, then you're talking about really a benevolent partnership between private market capitalism and the rich, uh, progressive academic tradition that, that Berkeley has. I advised Kiwi Campus. It's a robotics company that does food delivery. And one of the problems that they had was initially they weren't permitted to operate the robots on the campus. So I was able to help facilitate some dialogue with them and the UC Police Department that resulted in a permit which got them off the ground. Berkeley needs to develop more of an entrepreneurial ecosystem around the university. And uh, the vision here for the Skydeck is really an integral part of that and sort of taking intellectual property out of the labs and out of the university as a whole and finding vehicles to commercialize it. We're working on an infrastructure to radically enhance spaceborne communications. Once we do this, we will enable for the first time high definition real time observation of the entire planet. We have talked to, for example, a professor in the physics department. He has experience with both laser technology and also building companies. He was able to give us some very good insight, and we're very grateful for that. I don't think he would have made the time to talk to us if it wasn't for the Skydeck program. One problem facing Skydeck companies is familiar to many businesses here. Some of the biggest challenges that we see for the startups that come out of our accelerators, such as Skydeck, are the limited availability of either commercial real estate or wet lab space. And we're working with some of the local developers and brokers to think about what the options for either developing new space or converting existing rundown buildings into higher quality office space. But keeping the companies going wherever they end up will be the biggest challenge. Startup veterans estimate that between 75 and 90% of all venture-backed companies fail 